All right, gonna continue working on the base. I should be able to get the base complete today, hopefully. Hopefully. And uh, then I can start on just maybe adding some monster clay to the piece. This monster clay is really holding up those rear legs nicely now. It gets nice and hard. It's perfect for... I used to use wax for this type of thing, but it's, uh, it's a good clay for doing that with and I need to straighten those legs out and all that stuff but I'm going to do that at another time let's see I've got just well I've just got to anchor that foot the only problem is if I anchor it the screws will come down through you know, I can't I got to think that one through so anyway just uh, busy today and uh I'm going to quit babbling and get busy. Time to play with some clay. Okay, this is a little bit thicker piece of wood. I don't think it's going to hurt anything to use it. Can okay, I cut it off right there? I think I got it figured out for the uh, second horse. Being mindful <laughs> that I've got to be able to take each horse off this armature for the uh, base. I've uh, worked out a method, and I got to be able to screw them down without interfering with uh, the other subjects with my drill. Because the last thing you want to do is to go to drill a screw into the base and you destroy maybe a day or two's work with the uh, drill rubbing next to the uh, horse. So I'm going to put some glue and I and these stupid things they just it, the glue gets hard inside and it can't open up the damn thing anymore, so got to do it this way. And try to do it as easily as I can here. This is why I keep a bunch of scraps. It's just for this reason. And, uh, Gotta readjust. I've got the uh, bottom of the armature coming through this piece of wood just uh, just far enough to not interfere with the board underneath it. But I just screwed it up again. <laughs> okay. Now I just gotta coordinate the two holes. And the armature going into each one so that when I push out, and I'm subtracting for base as well on the uh, <clears throat> thing. And I'm going to put one more piece of wood up here. throwaway rag here. Okay.
Okay, now. First time I've had to use these things for a long time. These, uh. Oh! C clamps. Okay. I think that's a pretty good design. And see the tail of the horse can come back and it'll touch the uh, clay of this horse. And that will support this horse and that horse because that horse will have two uh, points of contact on the base. And this one will have two points of contact. And this way I can make it look like uh, they're suspended in the air. And this one, the tail or something is going to be going back here. I just got to figure out how I'm going to do this. But it'll all work out. I'm not worried about it. So that's uh, basically how it's going to be right now. I'm going to uh, put a support in here, but that's after the glue dries and everything. I don't want to do anything. All right, I took the horse off. Because I wanted to rethink the uh, board I had it on. And uh, this whole armature has got to bend a little bit. So I'm going to have to do that. There we go. Yeah, that's better. So I've got one screw that I just have to undo on this horse here to take him off. This one I'm not going to take off because I can, well, hmm. Let me think about that one. I may have to stick a I think I'm going to make this one so I can take it off too. And the reason why is because I want to get it up high enough where I can see it. And, uh, so it's constantly changing <laughs> the whole idea of what I'm doing because it's a, an evolving design for the uh, base. And, uh, fortunately, I just have to undo this screw to get to the two screws that are screwing that down to that board. And then I can take this whole thing off and uh, redo that. All right, I'll be right back. All right, I slipped a piece of wood underneath here. That'll brace it at the angle I want. And I'm just going to put a couple of screws into that piece of wood. Hopefully it won't split on me. See if I got a long enough screw around here. I don't want it to go so deep that I can't uh, remove it from the board. I think that one's going to work fine.
Now I gotta put a screw to hold it onto the base. So now, let's see if I can do this. I can take this horse off. Ah, one problem. Hmm. That. The support is going into the... Uh, main board going to have to figure that one out I think I know how to do it it's going to just move the uh, post back a little bit but I can drill a hole and put a short screw in there and actually screw it right to the base. Now we gotta be careful because I don't wanna split the uh, support. Oh, that'll hold. That's good. Now I can take the whole thing off and work on that horse on its own. Okay. Now it's just a matter of getting it back all together. I got magpies walking on my roof. I can hear them. There we go. The base is a little crooked, but it doesn't matter. And then I just put this one back on. right there to hold it in place. And it won't interfere with uh, either horse. There we go. And uh, I gotta arrange the hoofs a little bit, but I think that's that's in there solid now. That's all good. Okay, I'm going to clean off all my tools off the table and clutter up another table so that I can put my drill bits away. All right, good night, everybody, and I'll see you uh, next time. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.